Welcome, welcome. Anna is here and it is yet another Wednesday and another money date. How is everybody doing today? I hope well. Let's see if I can see your comments. Hop on, say hello. Let me know how your week is going. Somebody's on. I can't see just anything yet. Hi there. Thanks for joining me. Type in the chat. Say hello. Well, I am on the East Coast. Yes, a little bit off with the time zones, but that's how it goes. Anyway, I am on my normal trip to the Maryland, D.C. area to see clients and family and have, a, have some fun for the weekend. So what do you, plans do you have for the weekend? It's the uh, 4th of July coming up. So hopefully you're taking some time off. Anyway, hi, thanks for watching, whoever is there. So it is our Money Wednesday, Money Date, and there's a couple things that we do on these Money Dates. First, we start with a quote. And here's a good one that I really like. Money will not create success. The freedom to make it will. It's by Nelson Mandela. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for joining. I hope you're having a great week. Hi. <laughs> You up late or up, yeah, up late, I guess. So, if the money will not create the success, but the journey we're traveling it will, perhaps I have a question for you. Should we be paying more attention or closer attention to our journey with our finances, with our money? I think we are. I've got an interesting story for you today, but before I get to that, let's do some business. So the order of how the money dates go are as such. We need to talk about the nitty gritty details. And if you recall from our previous dates, there's a couple of questions we have to ask ourselves and I hope that you're tracking those answers. So the questions are, how much money did we make in the last week? Remember, last week you got a pass. So you had whole seven days to focus on income portion of your finances, right? Because that's something that we all have a lot more control over even though we tend to focus on our spending so how much money did you make in the last week how much money did you save I know you have uh, savings goals hi Lori good to see you looking forward to this weekend we have a big two-year-old birthday celebration coming up so I'm excited so do we have a savings goal or do we need to figure it out what is it that we're saving for Okay, so how much money did we make? How much money did we save? Now, something that I introduced last week and we talked about, go back and rewatch the video if you haven't yet, spending, right? Because initially I wasn't really focused on tracking the spending, but I think that's one of the areas where a lot of us are struggling the most. Yes, I can't wait to see you too. So, how much money did we make? How much money did we save out of that, those dollars that we made? And then spending. So if you haven't yet started tracking your spending, now I'm not one of those advisors who recommend to track every penny and every dollar because it's frankly impossible, but there are tools out there that you can use to set up in the background. One of those is Hang on, I think I'm back in that connection. Anyway, I was talking about an aggregation tool for uh, tracking your spending. So what it does, I'm talking about mint.com, what it does, it pulls together the data from, you connect your credit card, you connect your um, checking account, and what it does is it pulls the data from all of those accounts and it aggregates it to you in a nice little uh, app. You can have it on your phone, you can have it on your computer, and it tells you exactly where your spending is at. So you didn't even really have to collect and add receipts. But I think the, 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 the best part of that is it's actually, um, oh, hi, Chad. Good to see you. So I think the best part of uh, Mint is that it actually just runs in the background and you really have to do much about it. And it's some, sort of a psychological um, tool that helps me to kind of, you know, from time to time <laughs> to actually focus on the spending part. So 
again, I'm going to emphasize these questions because that's what I want you guys to focus on. How much money did we make in the last week? How much money did we save? And so Chad is also um, a financial planner, so he can actually attest to that, that that's what we talk to our clients, right? And the spending. I have a very interesting story today. So I was um, taking an Uber ride um, from my office to get to my dad's house, and uh, was, I was getting ready for, for the show, and so I was thinking, well, what am I going to talk about, right? Because the normal ideas on money dates is really to check in with ourselves. And so I was like, well, let me ask this Uber driver, right? What is he really um, interested to hear about? He's, he's an outsider. He's not even my client. So I go and say, okay, well, you know, here's the show that I do. What would you like me to talk about? And so at first he wasn't really kind of open about it, but then he's kind of started talking and said, you know, here's what I have. My income fluctuates, which is something that I'm very familiar with, right? So if you, um, one of those people where your income fluctuates and you don't have a regular paycheck. So how do you actually manage your overall financial operation, right? And so the first thought I was like, well, you got to start with the basics. Why don't you look at the spending that's going on? Why don't you identify uh, what kind of expenses you have so that you can focus on making sure that the income that you get cover that. But then there actually was a much deeper issue that I kind of uncovered. I wasn't even asking him about, it, but he says, you know what? I think income is not my problem because he was driving Uber as a side job. He has a full-time job. His wife works. So it seems to be that things are um, working well. But he says, you know what? I have a spending problem. And I say, well, what is your spending problem? And so if, um, if Charles, you're watching this video on reply, I told you when to come on Facebook Live and find me. Um, and I am sharing your story. But um, the, the problem that he has is that he buys... 40 to $50 worth of lottery tickets every day. And then he says he can't meet his ends. And I thought, wow, okay. So if we had stopped doing that for a month, how much money can you actually not waste and perhaps build something that I call, uh, call a curveball account? And you probably saw that as the title of my uh, show today. So a curveball account is a cute name that I came up for a really simple emergency fund, right? You guys are familiar with emergency funds, right? I hope you have one in place. And if you don't, I'd like you to start working on one because emergencies are gonna come up. There's definitely unexpected surprises or not so fun unexpected surprises that happen. So how do you cover those emergencies? And I know that it's difficult, I know. I see this every day with clients and just like today's example with somebody who gave me just an Uber ride, right? Basically barely meeting their ends, but it's not that. It's really looking at what is going on inside your financial world. Where are you leaking those dollars that you're not even realizing? So it's almost like going back to square one is assessing where your spending is at. Setting up a, an, an app like Mint, if you don't like Mint, there's plenty of others Quicken does the same job. You can just pay a few bucks if you feel more comfortable with that as opposed to having a free account. So what, I, what I'd like to suggest is to start focusing on uh, building your emergency reserves, right? If you don't like emergencies, call it a curveball account. Three to six months worth of living expenses. So, but how do you actually identify what your living expenses are? Again, going back to that, to that spending uh, sh uh, session we had last week. Where are you spending your dollars? It's really simple. Take out a, lace, a, a sheet of paper and write down all of your expenses. It's actually a pretty cool exercise. I promise you. Hi, Svieta. Thanks for joining. Good to have you here. Let me, got, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Maybe you can just drop your favorite emoji in the chat and just say hello. I know you're watching. So. Um, so that's my, that's the lesson for today. Let's focus on building that curveball account. I know it's, it's hard to get to three months when you're starting out, but let's maybe focus on getting one month worth of your expenses saved up. We can talk about later where to save the money, but the idea is that you do have some of those reserves set aside and that a credit card is not a place for you to get uh, funds when there's an emergency. Now, 
another thing that I do on these uh, money dates, and that's just something that I actually want to hear from you, is something called a money win. I know that there have been great things that are happening in your life, but if we don't take the time to recognize and be grateful for, how are we even going to know and appreciate what we have? So what I want to talk about next is something called a money win. A money win is something that's been really good in the last week, right? So take, take 30 seconds to kind of think about um, something that you're really proud and it has to do with your finances. And I'll give you a goal and what my uh, win for the week is. It's actually an excited one, exciting one because Yuri and I booked our, uh, our va mini vacation. Uh, we're going to Maui in August. So I'm actually really excited because that's one of our favorite places to go and kind of disconnect and, de and decompress. So um, that's mine. So I'd like to see what are you guys up for um, this week. Um, let me know if you have questions. And I would appreciate if you share this video out, if you found it useful. And by next week, at least, I'd like to see that you're starting to work on really tackling down your spending and building that curveball account. I hope you like the name because that's what I like to think of it. And every time I bring it up with a client, they look at me like say, hmm, what is a curveball account, right? So it catches their attention. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and what topics you would like to hear me talk, right? There's lots of different um, options here that I can talk about, but it would be much more engaging and entertaining if you guys want to hear something particular that you have questions about. So I hope you have. see me. Oh, there you go. I think I'm back. Um, so have a great weekend. Stay out of trouble and I'll see you next week. Take care.